differently able differently Welcome back. Barack Museka Cerebral Palsy Foundation marked Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day on the 6th of October with the aim of creating more awareness on the condition. Take a look. In the spirit of celebrating the World Cerebral Palsy Day, the Barack Museka Cerebral Palsy Foundation mobilized parents of children with cerebral palsy, caregivers, and partners to create awareness about the condition. We are here basically to celebrate World Cerebral Palsy Day. This is a day whereby uh, people living with cerebral palsy, people who support them, and the entire community come together to just to acknowledge them despite their busy schedule. The foundation has been in existence since 2019. Parents, caregivers, and partners playing a crucial role as they focus on addressing key issues the cerebral palsy condition poses. According to Christine, Cerebral palsy can occur before, during, and after delivery, thus the need to create adequate awareness. When you are carrying the baby in the stomach, it can happen after or during delivery when you are giving birth. Eh? The baby has to cry. If they don't cry, it's a red alert that something is wrong. Eh? Most probably the oxygen did not go to the brain properly and the uh, amletea yoshida. Early intervention is crucial in the management of cerebral palsy and all hope is not lost, especially if treatment is followed to the latter. They should always be careful because like if falling, like if you slide on the floor and it happens that there is a lot of some pressure to the baby, it can also cause it also. They need to be emotionally relaxed because too much of stress can also cause the brain damaging. It's a brain damaging con uh, condition, yeah. The foundation organized an eventful day for the parents and caregivers to have a session with a counselor and also donate a few provisions. The basic impact it has is stigmatization. It brings out the cases of uh, those living with this condition very broadly. But look, people, we are here. You should not stigmatize us. Cerebral palsy is not contagious. It's not a disease. Just embrace this as we are human beings just like anyone else. And uh, we can do whatever you guys can do as long as you can empower us in the areas that we are able to do. The councillor spoke about the need to encourage parents and caregivers while advocating for the need to belong to support groups. If you want to get help, you can only get help when you talk about your problem. If you keep it yourself, then that problem will not be solved. So I would encourage them, if they belong to any congregation, to go, share it with the leadership and see what the leadership can do to help them out. She also insisted on the need of having supportive families as this eases the burden on the parents. If the family is supportive, it even makes that burden lighter for the parents of that child. And if they can support in any way, they should be willing to give that support even before the caregivers or the parents go outside there to seek for help. Because uh, when um, the family members show love, to this child, then even the people outside there will also begin to show love. Mary Mwikali, a parent to a child with cerebral palsy, was among many in attendance. During her third pregnancy, she experienced prolonged labor which might have triggered the cerebral palsy the daughter has. After kupata mtoto, wakaniambia mtoto wangu wakona shida, lakini wako niambia ni shida gani? Sasa wakanipelekea mtoto nasari. Hapo sasa ndiyo nilikuwa naanza naenda kumudumia, hakuwa na nyonya na hakuwa na lia. Sasa hapo ndiyo nilikuwa naenda kukamua maziwa na mpea wakimdunga masindano. Of which siku jue wakati masindano walikuwa na mdunga za nini. Nilikaa nasari for two months. Kutoka hapo wakani discharge, alapo wakaniabia ni book clinic. After that, siku book immediately juu, siku jue yukilini kama ni ya maana, kaa ilikuwa ya maana. Ya, yeah, nilitek almost two months kwa nyumba. Juu siku anajua iyo kliniki kama ilikuwa ya maana. Na siku jua kama mtoto alikuwa na shida. Awaku nieleze immediately kama mtoto wako na shida. Mwikali could not afford to miss the big day due to the need for her to secure the provisions that were being donated at the event. 
kukuja hapa kwa hii organization nilijua nitasaidika njoo niko na mtoto mwenye ako na changamoto anahitaji ni mandawa ako kwa mandawa huwa kila mwezi anatumia mandawa za and conversion 7 7000 kila mwezi hizo mandawa za and conversion anahitaji chakula special food Bernard a board member of the foundation spoke of the challenges the organization faces na kwa bena finances for set all these services we offer because most of our children depend on medicines some depend on uh, medicines therapy and they come from very vulnerable families where they need proper assistance proper support so the challenge has been mainly how we can be able to reach to them and offer what you're supposed to offer as an organization it is due to financial challenges that the foundation has partnered with donors who have been very supportive kenya association of women in tourism was well represented these children need help especially those ones who are born to the ladies in the in the community that are less fortunate they're less fortunate they don't have work but they have these children and nobody really seems to know that anything like this can happen i think there needs to be some awareness created to the public that there are some children who are born and have this condition which is cerebral palsy and it's not a crime it's not a sin they are very happy they are very jovial but the only thing is they cannot do things on their own so we need to reach out to them according to liz her first encounter with christine was quite memorable and since then they participate yearly in the organization's work i decided i'm going to get the women involved and because it's women who carry the burden of bearing these children so i got the women in tourism together and we decided we're going to do some work together with the BM Cerebral Palsy Foundation. Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Article 25 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities states that state parties shall part B provide those health services needed by persons with disabilities specifically because of their disabilities including early identification and intervention as appropriate and services designed to minimize and prevent further disabilities including among children and older persons and here is the tip for the day i think we need to make a conscious effort to very intentionally target resourcing students with special needs whether visual disability uh, communication uh, problems so so that we build skills that will make them compete on an equal platform if not better we've come to the end of the show for today i hope that you will help in spreading this message of inclusion further so that at the end of the day we can all achieve a common goal My name is Jane Theory and until next week goodbye We are here and we are strong let's be counted as we move on make a difference change lives as we tell our different stories we are capable Beautiful, we are born to do great things. We're unstoppable, incredible, 'cause we're differently abled, differently.